Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm testing out the Tarte Found Sealer Multitasking Foundation with SPF 20. I picked this up during the Sephora VIB sale. It is the foundation I have on right now. If you want to see all the base products I applied to create this look, just keep watching. Also, if you are curious about this eyeshadow look, I will have a separate video because it's something that just arrived at my house and so I had planned to film a video with all my new purchases from the Sephora VIB sale but I had to make a tweak because something super gorgeous arrived in the mail to my house and I just I couldn't be playing with the other things I picked up I wanted to get into those right away so yeah if you're curious about those palettes the look will be up I don't know when, I'll try and link it. Otherwise, just subscribe so you can find it when it does go up. And yeah, let's talk about how we did this face situation. Okay, so I decided to film trying on this foundation as one video and then I'm gonna do my eyeshadow as a second video because I don't want these videos to be like 800 hours long. So if you're interested in watching me apply the Tarte High Performance Naturals Found Sealer and some other products I picked up during the VIB sale. Just keep watching. I was gonna do a video where I was trying out new makeup that I got from the Sephora sale, but you know what? There was a little bit of a wrench in my plans because my Kaleidos, Kaleido, 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 Kaleidos Cosmetics eyeshadow palette order came in, so I really wanna film with that. And I want that to have its own separate video and I will film with some of the other eyeshadow palettes I picked up during the VIB sale in a different video. Hopefully all that is making sense but I have been dying to try this foundation because I actually saw Tati talk about it. I don't know, I'm, I'm like, do I talk about Tati? I feel like I should just cause like, why not? I feel like I have a lot to say with the Manny and Laura drama, I didn't even want to talk about it because I felt like it was so disgusting. And you, like, we all knew they were social climbers. <laughs> but with James Charles and the Tati thing, my whole fear is that if I don't talk about it, the people that watch me, who I think are mostly, like, people that are moms or about to be moms, future moms, I feel like I want my audience to know that... James Charles, not a good person. I know personally a lot of moms that I'm friends with whose kids watch James Charles. And so I just wanna tell them like, you don't want your kids to turn out like James Charles. So if they seem like they're being a little too influenced by the people they watch on YouTube, like I would definitely pay attention to that. Like as a parent, I know from being on YouTube that if, when, if, whatever, we have kids, I'm gonna be very, concerned about who they're watching on YouTube because there are some weird people on the internet. So I think that's my piece. I wasn't savage with this sale. I was good. I did pick up a few things. I did pick up this Herbivore Emerald 100 milligram CBD and something deep moisturizer glow oil. I used to love the Sunday Riley Juno oil but that hasn't been working for my skin. So I decided to pick this bad boy up. And I already have moisturizer on. I'm wearing my $1 moisturizer from Shop Missé. Thank you, Kara from Mascara Cakes for recommending. And I was dying to buy this, but it was weird. I didn't want to pay full price, so I'm glad the sale came around. And I've worn it maybe like two, three times so far. And it's good. It's hydrating and it's definitely sticky. I'm not a primer person. I've definitely mentioned that in many of my YouTube videos. I used to care about primer, but honestly, I didn't feel like it was making a huge difference on my skin, so I stopped wearing it. But yeah, this is basically a grip primer, and it's by Milk Makeup. In case you didn't know, I feel like everyone has already discussed this on the internet. I did just go big or go home and buy the full size, and it says it's made in Italy. So there we have it. And this Tarte, Found Sealer is a multitasking foundation. And who was it? I think Tati did say like, it makes me think like Found Sealer is like a foundation concealer. 
So I'm expecting big things. She did say that she thought the best way to apply it was a brush, so I grabbed my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This is probably one of the best drugstore foundation brushes you can find. So if you're looking for good drugstore brush recommendations, this is it. The packaging is cute, you guys know. I love a good palm leaf. It's got like this fancy twisty situation, which is cool. And it's a broad spectrum SPF 20 and I picked up the shade Tan Sand. Totally winged it. Um, oh, whoa, okay. So we pump, we pump, ooh. I'm excited. She did say it was kind of like a sheer foundation, so I'm excited. Now, shade match seems to be good. It does have a scent, but it's like more natural. I have a breakout happening here, but it's like um, on its end stages, so it did cover that up pretty quick. Ooh, and I'm hoping that this is like a dewy foundation, because why not, you know? And usually I do my eyeshadow first, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna do my foundation first. And what else was I going to talk about? Oh, in case you guys don't know, I'm on a no-buy for the month of May. And I actually um, decided to start it on uh, May 7th because I did shop the last day of the VIB sale, the Sephora sale. So I felt like it wasn't fair for me to say no-buy started May 1st because I had planned on shopping um, for the sale and I wanted to give myself the opportunity to shop if I like something came up on the last day like I wanted to be able to buy it so yeah I started on May 7th and I even announced it on my YouTube so I'm really serious this time because I always like mentally tell myself so yeah I even announced it on my YouTube channel because I was really serious this time honestly what happened was I ended up getting a bonus from work and I was really excited and instead of spending it all on makeup I wanted to use it to pay off some of my bills and I did that and I feel like it was a perfect time for me to just like take control of my life and just calm it down. I feel like I have been more disappointed with the things I've been buying because I kind of just buy them all and then I'm like I don't even have time to like play with it on my channel because the next thing comes out and then I'm like, oh crap, now I need to buy this thing. And it's just like a vicious cycle. And you know, it doesn't mean like I hate makeup or anything like that. I just wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. So we're on day five as I'm filming this and it's nice because I still have some things that I pre-ordered from before I started my no buy that I'm like looking forward to. So I've been okay so far, but I mean, I've already been tested because the Juvia's Place palette came out, the coral one, and I was like, ooh, should I just buy it? It's one of those things where the palette, when I my first impression when I saw it, I was like kind of disappointed to be honest. I don't think it's Juvia's Place's best work, but also I think I'm so used to Juvia's Place coming out with like crazy color combinations. I think that's just more of a me thing. So I think it's a beautiful palette, just not the one for me. Um, but I feel like even though that is my instinct that it's not the palette for me, I would have bought it if I wasn't on a no buy. And I've actually felt the inclination to buy it so many times. I even have added it to my cart, but I just told myself no. And so we're on day five. I haven't bought any makeup yet. Truly, I'm not even just saying that. Like, I'm not secretly buying shit. I genuinely have not bought anything yet. And I'm pretty freaking proud of myself. I mean, there hasn't really been any crazy releases. I know the MAC Aladdin collection is really tempting me just because of the packaging and stuff like that. And the nostalgia. And then the Nabla palette looks kind of interesting. But I don't think I'm going to try Nabla anytime soon, honestly, because... Again, I have so many palettes I want to work with and review for you guys. So, sorry, I kind of went on a tangent, but I kind of wanted to see how this foundation would kind of like settle. I'm loving like the glow. I can see a glow in my viewfinder. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it already looks very dewy. So I don't want to set it too, too much. I think I might do some concealer 
and my brows and stuff. But before I do all of that, I do want to play with some Milk Makeup products. I don't want to get powder um, on my skin until I put these on. So let's try these. I did break out a new beauty blender because I picked up this little set during the sale. So cute. Um, but I wanted to ask you guys, how often do you switch out your beauty blenders? Because I feel like I don't do it enough. And so I finally like grabbed a new one and um, have just been like playing with it. And I realize how much I love beauty blenders. I know there's so many other great sponges. I'm a little bit ashamed to admit this, but I did buy the Juno & Co sponges on Amazon. I didn't realize that they were sold on Amazon. So when I was watching Gabriel Zamora's Makeup and Opinions video, because Tati had referenced it in her by sister video, I he started talking about the Juno and Co sponges, and I was like, shit, I can get those on Prime? Sure, I'll try them. So let me know if you want me to review those for you. And of course, for concealer, my usual weapon of choice is the Fenty concealer, but I remembered this little guy who I'd been on a mission to pan. It's got a nice little divot in it, and honestly, I'm like, I kind of put away my Fenty concealer because I was like, come on, Karen, you can... You can finish up this NARS concealer. So it's here, it's living. I love this concealer, you guys. And honestly, I don't want it to go bad. You know, I don't want it to sit in my collection for years and just rot. So I am gonna I'm gonna try and pan this this summer. I'm excited for it. And I think I have enough concealer to survive like the rest of the year. So I think I'm gonna tell myself like no more concealer unless something really cool comes out. And then just so you know, for my concealer, I use the Morphe M335. This is amazing. This was recommended to me years ago by my friend Nethmi and I love it so, so much. Okay, now let's play with the stuff uh, from, actually let's do, should I do powder first? No, I can do blush first. Let's play with this milk makeup stuff. So this is their cream right lip and cheek in work and I don't really like cream products but my friend Allie on um, Instagram she also does have a YouTube channel but she's actually from Fargo and she has just been on a milk kick and she started talking about this blush or one of their blushes I can't remember if it was this particular one. Oh my god and I was like Oh, Allie, you're making me want it, but I didn't want the full size, and so then I saw this little set during the Sephora sale, and I was like, fine, I'll try it. Oh my god, I love that blush. This blush brush, guys, the day I lose all the freaking hairs on it is the day I'm gonna like break down in tears because it's like the perfect texture for clean cream blushes. So I love that so, so much. Uh, it did shed a little on my face, oops. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Okay, let's do the, oops, I just lost the cap, the highlight. Okay, that's like really freaking bothering me. Let me just see, except brush shed. Okay, this is the highlight in Turnt. I don't know, can you just like use your finger for this or? I don't know what to do, guys. This is, I don't like applying makeup with my fingers. Let's start putting some on my nose. I look so dewy. I don't know, is this doing anything for you guys? I don't know. Ooh, okay, there we go, there we go. Let's put some over here too. I love the blush, the highlight, I don't know about. But it's pretty. I'm glad I bought the small ones because you know me and like full size product. Like what? Let's set under my eyes. And for that, I've just been going back to my Hourglass translucent powder. There are so many translucent powders I wanted to try during the sale, but I decided not to because I have so many and I can't just buy everything because there's like something new out, you know what I mean? So I decided to be good 
and not to buy anything. There is the hair. Where are all these rogue hairs coming from? Okay, kind of love. Kind of want to bronze a little. Um, for bronzer, I've been using this big fat brush for Morphe. This is a M551. And I did pick up the Kevin Aquan Neo Bronzer in the shade Dusk Medium. This is beautiful. I love Kevin Aquan's neon product, neo, neon, neo products. So when the sale came around and I saw he had come out with new products, I was like, yes, queen. And I bought some. So just putting that all over my face. Okay. Lovely. And then I bought this guy actually from Ulta. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel situation. I don't know if I'm gonna need to fill my brows for this or what the deal is. I've heard it's very pigmented, so I'm gonna try and be careful. What does this do? Is it just like a brow gel? Like, can you guys tell there's a difference? Ah! I got some on my skin. So usually I like create like a boxy brow up front, but maybe we'll just go with like a natural vibe today. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So this is what I have so far. I love the foundation. I love this found sealer. It's so dewy, it's so pretty. Did I tell you guys that I was gonna go through my entire foundation collection and like really decide like, is this a keeper, is this a no? I already have three that I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't love these. So I've been like playing with them and then I'm like excited because I got a new one to try. And I also did pick up this guy by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm debating trying this though because the shade I bought, honestly, it looks so orange. Like, I don't think this is gonna work for my skin tone. It might in the summertime, so maybe I'll keep it. I'm not 100% sure yet, so we'll see how that goes. And then I want to do a lip color. Let's do this guy, this is new too. I picked this up from Ulta during their 20% off sale. It's a new liquid lipstick shade to me. This is called Taunt, and I, just love these. <laughs> Definitely not like a color I wear very often. This is very nude. And we'll just have to see how this dries down. But you guys know I love the Morphe liquid lipstick, so I totally wanted to buy one and test it out and see if I like the shade. My favorite Morphe liquid lipstick shade is True Story. If you guys have not experienced it and you're my skin tone, 10 bucks, go get you some. And now I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final look that came out with the found sealer and some of the other new products I picked up during the sale. So basically, according to Sephora, this is a vegan makeup and skincare hybrid that's an everyday foundation for achieving an ultra comfortable, natural, radiant finish and custom coverage. It does say it's medium coverage, uh, finish is radiant, and it's a liquid. Um, it also recommends this for all skin types, normal, dry, combination, and oily. SPF 20, it says uh, Babasu. Nourishes, moisturizes, and soothes sunflower seed rich in vitamin A and E to help hydrate and regenerate it and regenerate and condition skin. And then it also says it has hyaluronic acid which retains moisture for optimal hydration and a refreshed appearance. Um, so it sounds great. I know Tati said hyaluronic acid was like one of the last ingredients in this foundation oh yep it's one of the last ones which she says usually drug facts like the ingredients usually they start with what there's the most of and then the least of which makes sense i've definitely heard that before but with me i don't really wear foundation to help my skin i use skincare for that so if it has any skincare benefits that's definitely a plus but i don't use foundation as moisturizer you know i use a moisturizer before i put foundation on so so far i like it um i'm not sure if i can give it the go ahead yet it's been a long long time since i found a tart 
foundation that I've even been like curious to try so good for them on that and like I said I will keep you guys posted down in the comments on how I feel about this thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you soon bye <laughs>